So hello my friends, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to copy masks from one layer to another layer uh, in Affinity Photo. This is something I had to kind of do a little bit, digging, a bit of digging and research to figure out, uh, which, which was a little bit unfortunate, but uh, I'm going to show you guys in a YouTube tutorial on how to actually do it so you won't have to go through the forums to figure this out. Uh, so we're loaded up here in Affinity Photo, latest version, I'm on the iPad uh, Pro from 2010. Image is already loaded in and here we are. So um, just for example and tutorial sakes, I just made basically an adjustment layer just to change the, uh, the I guess the luminosity or the, the exposure of the background. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys how to selectively apply masks from one layer to another so you can basically copy and paste the mask so you don't have to redo the whole mask. Thank God, right? Praise Jesus. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're, I'm gonna just make a, a blank adjustment layer. This is just for example sakes. It doesn't matter what this is, but I'm gonna queue up to show you guys how to do this. So uh, let me throw on a color balance, right? And we'll do highlights and we'll make the background more red. Hey, let's just make the background more red, basically, is what we're gonna do. Okay, so we have a color balance, blank layer right here. What you're gonna do is go down into the layer that you've already made the mask go down and then you're going to grab the mask and you're basically going to drag it up. Hold on. Hold on. Drag the mask to that next layer. Whoops. That was the wrong way. Drag it right there. Boom. Uh, the only thing is you're going to have to duplicate the mask though. So uh, if you, if you're going to, you're gonna lose that mask from another the other selection that I just did that. Um, unfortunately, you kind of have to do this with your finger because the Apple Pencil doesn't allow you to click and drag and hold. It doesn't really work that well. I don't know why, but um, maybe that's just me and user error, I'm not sure. But uh, for whatever reason, I've never really had good experiences with doing it that way. But that's literally all you do. Kill them. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, I feel like that's kind of intuitive but I can't tell you how many research that I did uh, and how much I struggled with finding out how to do this. Like, honestly, I spent so much time trying to figure out how to do that. So uh, I just tried that one day and it worked fantastically. Boom, there you go. So now you can see that that, uh, that color layer was applied only to the background, which you can see the mask here uh, is blacked out on where our subject is and it's only applying it to the background. So, you, and you can see that, boom, we just adjust the layer. The background, which actually doesn't look bad. I actually like that. It looks, hmm, looks pretty good, actually. Maybe I should do that for the final image. Oh, okay. Well, boom, there you go. So that's it, guys. That kind of wraps up today's tutorial. Nice and quick, nice and easy, and nice little ha handy tip for you guys uh, because I didn't know how to do that. So uh, if you struggle with that, my friend, well, there you go. We just solved your issue. Um, as always, if you like this video and you found it valuable, leave a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment or question or concern in the video description below. Uh, if you have a certain video that you'd like to see or a question that you'd like us to answer, um, and make a video around that. Absolutely, we're totally open to doing that. We have a couple of those locked in and queued up and ready to be recorded. As a matter of fact, um, as always, you know, if you want to reach out to us, hit us up in the comments below. Shoot us an email. Reach out to us on social media. Uh, you guys know where to find us. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing. We'd really appreciate that. And uh, so you can actually stay locked in on when we're publishing new content on our channel. We've got some amazing content coming up. Um, and as always, my friends, peace out.